Hi everyone, I recently shared a NYX haul with you and today I decided to try out some of those products and share with you a NYX face of the day. But before I get into the NYX products, let me share with you one product that I'm wearing that is not a NYX product. And I'm sharing this product with you because I um, recently also shared a Sephora haul. And this was one of the products in the Sephora haul. And that is my Lancome foundation. That is the foundation that I'm wearing today. I've been wearing this foundation consistently for a few weeks now. And I must say that I, I really like it. I think I love it. I just wanted to share that with you to give you a quick update on how I am enjoying this foundation. Now, on to the first of all, product. I shared with you in a haul, in my NYX haul, this palette right here. This is the Love in Paris palette and I'm wearing three of the shadows from this palette and in the haul I was looking forward to trying this palette because of the neutral colors. I love neutral colors. So I'm going to open this. If I can. I am having problems opening this. It has a cute little bow snap on it, but every time I try to open it. Okay, so here is the palette. And again, I have used three of the shadows from this palette today. I used this, um, this shade here on the end where my finger is. I used that as my transition color all over my lid. I have used this middle color right there, the middle top right there. I used that on my lid, on my lid right in here to add a little shimmer and on the um, ends, or not ends, but on the this part of my eye here and in the crease area, I have used this dark color in the middle and I like it. I, I like it. When I first applied it, I noticed it wasn't as pigmented as, um, say, for instance, my MAC Tempting that I typically wear. And it also wasn't, um, didn't seem to me as pigmented as, um, I'll put the name of the, it's the, um, I'll put it on the screen because I can't think, but it's another palette that I use quite often. And so when I use this, I noticed that I had to continue to um, apply the shades, particularly this color here in the middle. I had to use quite a bit of that to even um, show for it to even show. So, but other than that, I think that once I finish my full face and I looked at my eyes, I think that the shadows, the colors blended well, and I think they look. I think but, it looks so nice. yeah, so I like the way that it looks, um, but I found that I had to use a lot of it and because it wasn't as pigmented as the fa as the eye colors that I am um, in addition to. to it not being as pigmented as some of the shades that I am accustomed to wearing it also had quite a bit of fallout that shade right there in the middle in particular had lots of fallout um, but I was able to clean it up when I applied my foundation and my concealer so it wasn't a big deal but that was something that I noticed when I applied it. But all in all, I think it turned out pretty well. Okay, on my eyebrows, I'm also wearing a NYX product and it's a NYX product that I already had that I didn't share with you in the video because it was an, it's an older product. But it is this NYX Eyebrow Shaper and I have used it um, to hold my eyebrows in place. I don't know how well this is going to work. I think I've used this maybe once or twice before, quite some time ago, but I will say that um, applying it this time, since I was paying more attention to it, I think that it's working pretty well. I haven't had it on long, um, but um, it seems to be so far working well. So that was another product that I used, but on my eye eyebrows also, I'm wearing the Anastasia Dip Brow, which is not a NYX product, but just in case you're wondering, since we're talking about brows, I thought I'd throw that in as well. Okay, let's continue on. The next NYX products. product that I am wearing from the haul is this powder brush. Powder blush. What is wrong with my words today? This powder blush. You can see there. And this is the... What? <laughs> this is the shade Cinnamon. And I like this. Um... I have, I mentioned in the haul that I have a blush that I use 
99.9% of the time. It's a MAC blush, MAC format, I think is the name. And so every now and then I switch up, so I decided to switch up today. And um, hopefully you can see it well enough. I have a light right here, so maybe if I stand back you can see it a little better. It's subtle, it's a little more subtle. I take that back. When I first put it on, it, it felt, it looked a little bright to me when I put it on. So I had to continue to um, blend it in and I just took the brush, blended it in and brought it up and up this way and on to my head in this direction to sort of blend it out. And once I did that, it helped it to look a little more subtle. But when I first put it on, it was a little bright. Um, in comparison to the blush that I typically wear. However, I think that I do like it, but I think that I will like this a little more in the spring and summer months because that's just kind of what it reminds me of, um, a spring or summer shade. I like it though. I mean, it, it has a little bit of shimmer in it that kind of, um, I don't know, it kind of, um, it's a little, um, what is the word? It's a little cakey right here, the way it went in, the way it blended, if you can see, I don't know if you can see that, but I did notice that in the mirror, there was a little cakey and the other blush that I used doesn't do that, but I'm sure that could be remedied, just maybe blending it in a little more, or maybe just the way that I applied it. That's the only um, negative that I really noticed, but all in all, I think it is a nice color. And I think that once I blended it in, um, it's a very subtle color and again, I think it'd be great for the spring and the summer. Now, on to lip color. Oh no, I have one more eye product, one more eye product. And this is an eye product that I um, already had as well. And this is the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil. And I'll take the top off so you can see it a little better. This wasn't in the haul, I already had it. And I've used it before, but I've forgotten about it. But the way that I use this, I put a little bit here underneath my eye on both sides and also in the corners of my eyes, probably not blended in so well, but let's see if I can go back and up a little bit so you can see. But I like to use this um, for that because it just helps to just brighten up my eye. And I haven't used this in a while, so since I was using NYX products, it reminded me of it. And this is um, a product that I used a lot in the spring and summer, and I really liked it. And as you can see, well, this is the 611 and yogurt. And I use this again a lot in the spring and summer, and I love it. So I'm glad that I thought about it today. Okay, on to lip products. The lip product that I'm wearing today is this matte lipstick that I shared in the haul, and this is in the shade Butter. I have been wearing this lipstick a lot, and I really like it. Um, I think it takes some getting used to, um, because it is a, a, a kind of a, it's a nude shade, but it's a little bit light also. Really pretty though. I think that um, I like it better when I wear a um, deeper blush. I haven't worn this lipstick with this blush before, um, but I have worn it with my MAC Format. And the MAC Format blush is a little deeper, um, so the contrast with the deeper um, blush with the matte lipstick is really pretty. And the lip liner that I'm using, is and I thought this would be too dark so initially I was using one of the lighter lip pencils that I showed you but I've been wearing the espresso <laughs> I've been wearing this and I, I really like it I did try it with the lip gloss that I told you about this one right here that was in the haul and if you saw the haul I was got the idea I was thought, oh this would be really nice together well, when the first time I wore this lipstick, I applied this lip gloss and mm, I didn't like it. I thought it kind of changed the color and made it a little bright. So um, I've just been wearing the um, lipstick on its own with the Espresso lip liner for about on and off now for about a week. I've been wearing it and I think that it looks really nice. I hope it's showing up as such 
on the camera, but yeah, so, so far, so good. I haven't tried any of the other lipsticks that I shared in the haul yet, and I haven't tried any of the other, well, I tried the one other lip liner, and, but, um, this is the one that I've been wearing, and I really like it. I'm so glad my sister-in-law suggested um, these lip liners because they're really nice. Really nice. They go on very nicely. I could probably blend that in a little better. So anyway, if you haven't checked out the NYX haul that I shared, I'll leave a link to it in the description box below. And I'll also leave a link to the Sephora haul that I shared in the description box below so you can check out some of the makeup items that I purchased from Sephora as well as these items and the other items that I purchased from NYX. So as I am using the products that I'm hauling, I will definitely give you some updates on the ones that I'm enjoying and letting you know how they work. I thank you so much for watching. Have a happy, happy, blessed day. Be happy, live full, love life, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.